Hi, welcome to Curry's for Every Kitchen. This is Shoba. Today I'm going to show you mutton curry. Mutton is not very popular in the United States, but um, in India and most part of the world, mutton is very popular. Right now, you can find mutton or lamb in any supermarkets. Once you get it, the, the thing you have to remember is you have to cut, trim most of the fat out. The fat is the one that gives you that gamey smell when you cook lamb or mutton. And also there is a white thin layer you have to cut it all off. The easy way to cut it is when you bring mutton or lamb from the store just put it in the freezer for like maybe um, half an hour or so so it will it'll get frozen and you can take a sharp knife and scrape that off and then wash it several times with several different water several different changes of water until it comes out really clean now this cooks in two different ways we're going to cook the mutton first with spices and then add all um, chili powder and tomato and onions to make it green right now I got my trusted pressure cooker and I got two tablespoons of peanut oil in there to that and I'm going to add my mutton I'm going to add it slowly be careful it might be very hot I'm going to go wash my hands off this mummy stuff and I'll be right back. I'm back. I just washed my counter off and then washed my stove off. It's always good when you're working with the meat and you're handling the meat. It's always good to wash your hands. Now, I have the, my mutton is going on and getting browned. To that, I'm going to add a few spices. I got a few pieces of cinnamon sticks and I'm going to put it whole like this because I want all the flavor going to the meat and six of whole cloves two cardamom pods I just crushed it to, to expose the seeds and I'm going to put the seeds and skin on the all and a few pieces of few peppercorns whole peppercorns and I have something called maize maize is an outer coating of nutmeg. This has the same as a nutmeg flavor but in the milder sense of it. And then two bay leaves and one star anise and quarter teaspoon of brown sugar. Believe me, it's not going to be a sweet curry but brown sugar gives you that brown, brown and kind of molasses in a brownish feeling or taste to your curry. Now you're going to cover that. Before you cover it, just go and add some salt to the meat. So you will I have one teaspoon of salt right here. And I put a teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric gives you nice yellow color to it. Stir it well. And cover it and pressure cook it for 10 minutes. You don't need any water. The water, water from the meat is enough. We can add water and onions to make gravy later. Okay, our 10 minutes are off. Our, with our, cooked, our mutton is all cooked. So what I did is I fished out all the mutton. Right now, all I left in my pan is all the spices that I added and a little bit of water that came in. 
We're not going to waste those spices. We're going to make a paste. We're going to put them in our trusty grinder. If you have a blender, by all means, you're welcome to use your blender. Put it in there and put, put this back on the stove. To that, I'm going to add a few chopped tomatoes and a little piece of a tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste and one onion chopped up nicely. We are going to grind all this into a paste. It doesn't have to be extremely smooth paste. You just need all these spices to be grounded. We're going to add one tablespoon of oil to that, excuse me. Oil to our pan. And we're going to add our, okay, raise your temperature of your stove so it will cook faster. And the paste that we made, we're going to go ahead and add that back in there. While our meat is cooking, I also cut two potatoes. These are russet potatoes and I cut it into same size, almost same size chunks as the meat. And I half boiled it. I didn't totally boil it, I just half boiled it. I'm also going to add that to our spice mixture. of cayenne pepper. This is where you adjust your heat. You don't have to have a whole teaspoon if you can handle the heat. And a little bit of quarter teaspoon of um, coriander powder and a quarter teaspoon of cumin powder. You don't need to add garam masala to it because we already made all the paste with all the spices that meat is cooked in. Most of the spices are included in garam masala. Now go ahead and add your meat. Stir it well, cover it and cook for another 10 minutes. Okay, now our mutton curry is ready. It's all, you can see our potatoes are very tender and our meat is very tender and all the spices are filled in there and all the gravy is in there. Don't despair if you don't have a pressure cooker. You can also make this exactly the same way on a regular pan. Instead of 10 minutes cooking, you need to put 20 minutes cooking. But if you are doing it on a regular pan, stir it occasionally. Now, in maybe 20 to 30 minutes you have nice mutton curry ready to be eaten along with some chapatis and I'm going to garnish it with a little cilantro, chopper cilantro and some chopped onions. You don't even need to go to Indian restaurant to eat this nice mutton curry with potato. I hope you like it.